Hey folks, I don't know about you guys, but I like to jog in the morning. I like to get my run in, it gets my day started off nicely. The biggest problem I have when I jog is that I need a holster that is gonna hold a smaller gun because I'm usually not going to be wearing a belt. So I need something that's gonna grip my elastic band, but not come out with the gun in the event that I need to draw that, that weapon. Well, a lot of your Kydex holsters out there, you're gonna find that if you use a little clip that they have, They'll clip fine on a belt, but they're usually going to come out with your holster, uh, excuse me, with your gun in the event you need to draw it. So that's a big downside to the Kydex holsters. And of course, any of the other ones that require a belt are pretty much useless anyway. 1791 leather, they made a pretty cool holster. Now, I know some of these guys out there have made one of these before, but I like to carry a Glock 43 with me whenever I run. Uh, low round count, I know, but it's light, very lightweight, doesn't jump around whenever I'm running. 1791 gun leather has this leather holster for the Glock 43, and it's got a very good clip on it. This clip allows me to go over the elastic band, waistband of my jogging pants or shorts if it's cooler or warmer outside, and it, it allows it to stay in place. So whenever I'm running, I don't have the issue of the holster bouncing around or the threat of the gun bouncing around because the holsters are made to fit with these exact guns to the exact specifications, even with it being leather. It holds this thing in here really nicely, so I don't have that threat. The official name of this holster is the two-way multi-fit inside waistband concealment leather holster Whew. by 1791 Gun Leather. I'm a big fan of leather in its place. And in other words, I don't think that there's always a place for a leather holster, nor is there always a place for a Kydex holster. I'm a big fan of a Kydex holster in many cases because I get a very positive entry and exit of that firearm into that holster. And I like that. I like that it's going to hold it in there and be very positive with that. However, leather holsters have their place. I like the fact that a leather holster, like in this case, it's going to fit to my body and the gun at the same time. So there's kind of a connection between the heat of your body helping to soften that leather up and then it forms to your body, but it's also forming to the gun. So it's pretty much a custom fit between the gun, the holster, and your body. So if you wear it in the same place, it's always gonna fit and the more you wear it, the more it's gonna get comfortable. That's what I like about leather. And you wanna talk about leather. This 1791 holster is handcrafted using 100% certified American heavy native steer hide leather. You wanna smell leather, this thing's got a good leather smell to it. They also stitch this thing, not with some little pansy threading that you're gonna have that's gonna come apart. You know, they're trying to stand behind their, listen to this, lifetime warranty. That's a big deal. The fact that they're providing a lifetime warranty tells me that they want this thing to last. So they're not looking to replace it. They don't want to have to deal with you again. So they use the nice heavy stitching in this thing to hold it together better. And don't think this thing is just for using jogging pants or running. You can use this thing wearing a belt as well. It's going to actually fit a lot harder and a lot tougher on a standard gun belt like the 1791 gun belt wearing regular clothes. It's actually, it, it holds on there really good. I'm, I'm, I'm having the issue with clips sometimes on some of these holsters, like some of the Kydex holsters, simply because they don't have a nice, positive, secure attachment whenever they go onto a belt. The last thing you want whenever you're trying to retrieve your firearm on your side is for the whole holster to come with it. Not exactly what you want in a pinch. This particular holster is not gonna do that. As you can see, where this clip comes down, this metal clip comes down and it is actually pinching and touching another piece of metal that comes from the back side of the holster. So you're never gonna have this thing climb up off of your belt unless you want it to. What a great holster for running. And uh, I guess if you had light, lightweight clothes on, I don't feel like the holster is gonna come with the gun if I need to draw it. I also don't feel like my gun is going to fly out as I run or jog. So super holster. I, I'm, I'm really liking this thing by 1791.